Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's OG and today we are back with might be my craziest win streak in Power League ever. Uh, so I was like L3 like 60% when I started or something, but I finished it at, I did end on a loss. Um, I went until I lost, so I think it was like 7th or something, but I'm like 9th now and I didn't play like all day today, so I probably went down a spot as well. So pretty crazy run and i'll show you guys my battle log like yeah i did lose the most recent one i was streaming i was like i'll stop at a loss to firebolt bro um and yeah you can just see victory 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 it goes like it would have went down for like a very long time um and i did stream like the whole thing so you guys can go check out the vod uh on twitch it's published now but yeah we're gonna go over like some of the craziest games from there i definitely hard carried a few of them i I think I got like three or four like 20 plus kill games on the day so it's a pretty good day for me um, in the power league push but yeah we're gonna go over some of those games now all right guys so game number one it is gonna be kaboom canyon and we're gonna be on squeak buzz and shelly so i can see the names in the game at this one i'm not masters like i said this is the start of the push and uh yeah we're gonna first pick crow the other guy is a good buzz player so i think that's boy band Buzz, they're gonna ban Eve, Cord, and Shelly. I think all those bands are fine. Like, every band kind of makes sense. Um, and yeah, Crow's a really good first pick for us, though. So it's just like a lot of control. It's an anti tank, like I said. I like picking an anti tank with first if possible. In Heist, sometimes I will go for like more damage first, but I think on this map, uh, in particular, kaboom, like it's pretty much all about mid control. So I think Crow is really fine here. And they're gonna go Brock, which is definitely a good pick. It can get ran down, and I think it's kind of risky to first pick. And Piper, so we could definitely run them down here. Um, now, I don't know what I'm gonna go, like, it depends what. I don't think this guy has many brawlers. He's gonna go Bell, which is just a terrible pick. Uh, he gets countered by both of them, in my opinion, and uh, doesn't like. I mean, I don't know. I think we need like something like higher HP, obviously. Like I think Bonnie could work. Or just something to get like mid control, not like long range poke fast. But I'm gonna go Nani last pick, uh, just because that's what it's gonna be. Just because he went Bell, so I kind of have to play around that. But I do like Nani, obviously, and uh, TP Nani can do a ton of damage on this map. So Nani doesn't really counter Piper super super hard without the return to sender. Um, you can get two tapped really easily if you overstep. Obviously, if you can keep him at max range, it's still good, but um, it's definitely, uh, I don't know, I might say slightly Piper favor just because of the gadget um, without return to sender. But I think Nani's fine here. Like, we don't really have much for Carl. I can kind of make Nani work into like a lot of Brawlers, and uh, Crow's decent, but the Bell just like, I don't know, it's pretty bad pick that made this game very hard, I think. <clears throat> so yeah we're just gonna start off and we're gonna try the carl is gonna gadget up to mid so you always gotta be careful of that i'm gonna hit two good shots and pretty much just charge my super we'll get the carl one shot i, I can't remember i do want to break that wall open at some point but i think i'll just go for a kill on the carl uh just because we can like kind of move up now i could just like tp up on brock that probably would have been okay as well but i know i'm gonna go through all my tps and i think it's important we kind of move up as a team at this point so uh yeah you'll see i'll one shot the brock there as well and i one shot the carl i one shot the brock one more time so i get a lot of kills here <laughs> and uh yeah my teammates are just gonna kind of really like spawning back in i think both of them died you can see the bell just not a good pick um, but I'm gonna TP up and make the Brock come back for me So I want to see if I can kill him just so he doesn't try base racing and I will get my damage gear there as well Which is really nice um, And the reason why I focus on killing the Brock there I don't think my teammates could defend 3v2 they can't even like do 1v1 right now So I thought it would be important that I just stop the Brock from pushing up the map before I focus solely on safe damage and Yeah, the bell is gonna die once again, you know not very good pick i see the piper jump i'm just gonna that's not a good piper jump no matter where she jumps there i can almost like always tp unless she like jumps on one of her teammates and yeah i do want to get mid control i could be shooting the safe this whole time probably would have been the right decision but if i do kill the brock there i think that would have been huge as well so um yeah we are only down by like eight percent so it's kind of fine at this point my bell did a good job staying alive that long but it didn't really accomplish much um and 
yeah, you can see here, we're just trying to get mid control. It's looking pretty hard. They're not really doing a ton of damage. I guess the Brock, you know, as soon as I say that, they do like 20% from the Brock super. But yeah, it's pretty hard here. I will get the Carl though, so that's gonna be a really nice pickup. I get the Piper one shot as well. And uh, my Crow is able to make the Piper jump and we will get some positioning off of that as well. Bell's gonna die again. You know, great pick, Bell. Definitely made the game very playable. I can't TP up there. I think we need to all get on safe. Otherwise, we just lose this game. I don't have enough damage to do like 35% in that small amount of time, unfortunately, and I would not be able to. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go down at the end. I, I was trying. I was playing my heart out, to be honest. Uh, I need a little more from my teammates if we want to win this one. So, yeah, game number two. And um, you can see... I'm not very happy. <laughs> I do want to win. I get two tapped by the Piper. I forgot the Carl is going to gadget up. So yeah, a little tilted here. Not the best start. Bell's going to go down as well. Crow. It's not really Crow's fault. Like he picked a good brawler. It's just tough matchups because, you know, we went Bell into Piper Brock. Um, so luckily my team is doing like a bit better here. I think I'm able to almost take out the Carl. Yeah, I will get the Carl and I don't know if I use it. Yeah, so I'll use it as a break. I think I should have done that in the first game too because it definitely makes it a lot more playable. Crow kind of wastes his jump. I guess he didn't know I was going to get that kill, but I'm going to kill the Brock as well. And I think I get the Nani or the, no, I don't get the Carl, but we're going to get full mid control and just got to spread out. Brock is going to kill the Crow. Good shot from him. I'm going to get the Brock though. And I get the Piper, I think, before I go down here. Yeah, so nice shot on the Piper. I know I'm going to go down there. At least I can do is try killing the Piper. I don't need to focus on the Carl that much because uh, my teammates can deal with him a lot easier. Piper is just going to jump in. I'll be like, oh, hello. And I'll TP. And yeah, not really the best jump for the Piper. Well, you're going to get a ton of damage all because the Piper did jump in there. So we managed to get around like 30% and um, yeah, I want to stay alive here as long as possible. And unfortunately I was kind of missing some shots there, but my teammates are kind of holding, not really, I guess they both died. And they're going to get Brock super on save. I want to kill the Brock first. That is the most damage they have. And I think I go for like a TP play and... I try going for the Carl, but this is why you bring the shield Nani, guys. Like, look at this. I'm able to just, like, go around and get the Piper, and it bought a lot of time, honestly, so it's kind of fire play. Like, it would have been better if I could just kill the Carl. But I get the Piper, and look at all the damage we got there. I did stall, like, a ton of time there, and, uh, yeah, it worked out pretty good. So, I am going to wait. I should just auto-aim here. Piper kind of claps me, not going to lie. But, um, yeah. I definitely should have just auto in as soon as I hit the trap because it is like a guaranteed hit. I get the Piper one shot. I'm gonna make sure the Brock is dead. And yeah, I think I just TP to get damage to make sure. Like it is a little close, but I can definitely get my TP off in time there as well. Just shoot the save, you know, and we will win game number two. All right, game number three. So yeah, it's clearly winnable. I don't think our comp is like terrible. I think the bell pick's terrible, but I think the Nani pick was good. I think crow pick's always good here pretty much. Um, and yeah, I am gonna be a little more careful for the Carl this time. Uh, and I think our start here is pretty bad. Uh, the bell is just losing lane and the Carl's pinching us. Brock is gonna kill the bell. And yeah, I'm gonna go down, but I don't know. Pretty bad start. 40% uh, is tough. I haven't really hit a lot of shots this game either compared to my other starts. So definitely not my best start, but it's definitely still winnable. I can do a lot of damage on safe if we get there. They're going to bail us out and break our mid. I have no idea why the Brock did that, but thank you so much. That made that game a lot easier. Uh, unfortunately, I don't kill the Piper there. It's kind of a bad shot for me. Definitely should kill him. Um, but I do manage to get him there. I need to stay alive here. I'm going to get the Carl really low as well. Bell's going to clean it up. And now we can kind of hold mid and get some damage. So I'm going to see if I can pick up a kill here and just TP, get the kill, stay alive in the corner, just chip the save kind of. Let my teammates move up the map. And if I can just back off, but I don't think I'll be able to. So we did kind of catch up off that. I am going to get a Carl. Fortunately, I didn't get my shot off, but I got a Carl gadget. Carl's out of gadgets now. That's pretty big. He can't gadget up and kill us. Uh, he just has to, like, super 
without the gadget part. Obviously it makes Carl a lot worse. Piper's gonna be one shot. I see that. I'm gonna TP a nice shot from the bell there to take it out. I'm gonna try getting the Brock. I think I should have just went up there. I do get the Brock one, but you know, it's hard judging all these naughty things. He did hit a good shot on me, so that's definitely what helped him win the interaction. But my teammates are playing pretty good now, so they're holding their own. And um, yeah, I'll look at Piper there. And I gotta watch out for Carl here. And we did manage to tie it up at the same time, so I'll get a good shot off on the Carl. Definitely need to take out the Brock when we get a chance, and the Piper. So, just gotta focus safe though here. Uh, need damage for sure. We're up by like 30% now, so you can just see how important mid control is. Especially with like these long range comps, I can just like tap mid like whenever they want. Mid control is everything in these games. And yeah, we're all just gonna focus. I'm gonna be like, yo, give me the KD. <laughs> and I knew you were gonna win, so I might as well just like stack KD. I knew I'd have a few kills this game. So yeah, gonna go 24 and 14 and uh yeah pretty good game all right guys so game number two it is gonna be on dueling beetles I do have last pick if you guys watch my videos you know something that's always in my mind here the last pick brock it's so good um but yeah we are gonna ban like i think our bands are all solid <clears throat> squeak cord shelly uh, I think you could give over first pick Shelly, it just kind of makes it hard, and like I said, I always have last pick Brock in my mind, so I'm banning, just because Shelly into Brock is very hard for Brock, in my opinion, it's just so fast, it gets in close, and, uh, yeah, they're gonna ban Crow and Double Throwers, I think those bans are fine as well. First pick Amber is pretty weird, I'm not, like, a huge fan of Amber here anymore, I don't think it's horrible, um, the oil puddles definitely are, like, pretty decent in, like, all hot zone maps, I think, but it's not really a winning lane. I guess it's like kind of decent into tanks, so throwers are banned. He's gonna go bell. I think we go B, just because it is like more like anti-tank and it's fine. It's kind of like the same thing into amber. I think B and bell, like they're both like good into amber. B kind of covers us a little more uh, for the tank part. And I saw he wanted to go Carl. I don't think Miracle has a lot of brawlers, so sometimes you gotta play around what your like team like wants to play because they don't have the brawlers max out so i think carl like it's okay mid here you can definitely get countered pretty hard um but yeah i don't hate it just because we have the b if we have the bell i think it's a horrible pick but the b kind of i can always go like a tank counter last right if they do go like a tank or something like that i could go like macy or something which would be fine here i could go lou but they took the lou so here i'm thinking like all right like they're gonna go a tank, right? Like they're trying to take like tank counters out and go tank last pick. But this guy, he was watching my stream or something, bro. I was talking about the last pick Brock and you know, he, he thinks he's me. Like, I don't know who he thinks he is picking Brock here when I was thinking about taking it. So I'm like, all right, I got insta luck the Piper. This is something that we did in scrims because Brock was very prevalent in scrims. Uh, when Dueling Beetles was in the rotation last year, and the Piper, you can see, it can, it can handle the Brock. So you do go Wall Break Brock here, just because it makes your like a lot easier for your team to play. Uh, I think Wall Breaks on this map are very, very good. It's just hard because not a lot of them are good on this mode, or just in the meta. I think there's not a lot of good Wall Breaks right now. But, yeah, I do go the Piper, and it's personal at this point. Like, he took my Brock, that was going to be my pick. I'm gonna go on the Piper. I'm not really the best Piper anymore. I definitely have my games um, and my moments, but sometimes I just like miss shots a lot too. And yeah, I get a good curve off on the Amber. I don't know, I feel like the Amber should definitely be lane. I'm gonna wall break here, uh, just so my B doesn't have to worry about the Amber Puddles as much. It's a lot more distance for the Amber Puddles to cover. And yeah, you can see the B is using the gadget that <laughs> if it goes out of bounds, it just doesn't do anything. Uh, so it went out of bounds there, and we're kind of tapping on the Piper right now. Brock's finally going to break his walls. Definitely need to do that from the start. It would make it a lot easier on his teammates. Lou is going to pick up a kill on my teammate there as well. And uh, yeah, I see he's low, so don't need to risk it. I'll just curve him, get him out, and I'm going to jump just to stay alive there. I'm going to break some of my walls. I think that's fine. It definitely helps out a little bit because... You know Brock does cover up my lane so I can kind of shoot from a different angle but I am missing some shots on the Lou here he's getting a little slimy um, but <laughs> I think I might just get mad and curve him bro like I've had enough like just curve him but yeah <laughs> I just like all right I'll just curve him bro <laughs> like there's no point so Piper Gadget's really 
you know, definitely not a stupid gadget by any means. I do walk up a little too far. I take out the amber so it's fine, but you know, I'm obviously like a little worried about the KD here because I think I'm like 6-0 at that point, something like that. Um, but I'm going to go down, and this game is definitely ours to lose, so I'm going to be on the Brock side. He's been kind of dodging me since the first interaction. That's what you get for going with Brock, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Should be me on the Brock right now, but I'll settle, settle for the Piper. Going to get the Amber to 100 HP. Just going to jump back, make some space, and uh, yeah, the Lou is the Lou's definitely giving me the toughest time to hit. So he's been playing good. It's not really his fault. Definitely uh, on his teammates a bit, I think, though. And yeah, I'm gonna hit a few shots there, and we will take game number one. All right, guys, game number two. Uh, so I'm gonna go the same lane. Probably should have switched. Uh, nobody comes on my lane this game, bro. Like they're just scared of me. They refuse to come on my lane. Look at them. They double up mid just to avoid my lane. Cowards. Um, so yeah, I gotta. I think I get a little too aggro or something like that. Uh, uh, I mean, it's kind of fine right now. It would have been nice if I killed him there with the first one. And my teammates are both going to die. That's pretty rough, to be honest. I think that's what kind of made that interaction go bad for us. Um, but yeah, it's definitely hard when they get set up with our comp. So I'm going to take the Amber out, though. And I'm just going to jump before he can press the gadget on me. Definitely don't want the damage reduction on a brawler like Piper uh, or any like carries or just any brawler in general. So I'll take the Lou out here and... You can just see why Carl kind of struggles when it's like this. Uh, you just get like one shot off because it's like max range Carl, right? And the Amber gets like her full like clip off. So here I'm going to make sure I don't break their walls. I want to break their grass though. So uh, my teammates have an easier time to just kind of see where they're coming through mid like this. Otherwise they'd be hidden. And um, yeah, I think it just makes the game a lot easier for my teammates. Carl is going to go in there and they're going to get a good pinch off on the Brock. Brock's going to waste his gadget. Um, I definitely think the Brock's trolling by not breaking his side. Definitely makes it a lot harder for his teammates to dodge. Um, but it's fine. I think the game's it right now. I don't really want to break their walls, but I kind of got to the point where it's like I'm too far up and like, you know what, I'll just break their walls. Um, but yeah, I definitely don't want to break their walls. I don't think there's any situation where you ever want to break their walls, even if they have like a thrower or something. I think... Um, they can just play off the other side so it just makes it a lot easier uh, i noticed the game is not going too good so i'm just going to curve we need to get them out of the zone right now i'm going to take a few shots from the brock here but it's definitely a hard game to win at this point we all need to stay alive and just kind of keep position up i do have a curve though which is really nice i'm gonna miss all my shots that's not very nice um and we are cutting it kind of close fortunately my teammates i think they both die here i just curved the brock and um, yeah, they both die. I'll get the Amber though, which is huge. And we got to get the Lu here, get him like half HP, but uh, you know, we're not able to finish him off here. So it is really close. If I hit that shot on the Amber, it would've been really nice. I got to jump back because I don't want to die. Like I said, if we die, we lose the game. Fortunately, like, you know, I think my teammates kind of died a lot at the end without getting many kills. So I think we definitely can win this. I think we have comp, to be honest. Um, we just gotta play better. All right, so game number three, I didn't have anyone on my lane, so I'm shooting like, yo, you go over there. Like, let me just like hard win a lane at the start because uh, I think Piper can a lot harder than B into these matchups. I think it's fine for B as well, don't get me wrong. But Piper, I can just hit someone in curve or just like three tap them. Uh, like, uh, I don't three tap them. Unlucky, but they're gonna be one shot. It's gonna be a free kill at this point. Nice play from the B there. It gets the gadget off as well. That's why that gadget is pretty good. I wouldn't mind. I think the other gadget's pretty good here too. The Brock can shoot it through walls, but yeah, I'm gonna break that side open. I want to keep as much as my of our grass intact as possible, just because it makes mid a lot easier to play when you do have grass. So my next wall break, I'm looking to do the same thing. I'll kind of break. Um, so I messed up the curve there. A little unlucky. I'll mess up the, or, sorry, I want to break their grass like I did uh, the previous game. I think it makes it a lot easier for our team. And yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. I'm just going to curve them, get them low. When they are one shot, they do tend to like freak out. And uh, I think it's pretty easier to hit someone that's one shot compared to like full HP or half HP. Just because I think they panic a bit. Um, so I don't really mind curving to get people low on Piper personally. Um, but yeah, B is going to gadget and we're just going to kite back Lou. Don't need to feed him super. 
Lou is how we lose the game if he just gets like chain supers, which nice kill from the Carl there as well. Well timed from him. So I want to keep Lou out. He can get a lot of supers off the Carl. Me and the B should not really be giving him supers. We're gonna get him one shot. I am just gonna like play right here and just like peek them because I see they're all one HP. I'm gonna jump. Gotta protect the KD at all costs. No, but you want to stay alive just to hold mid. This game was a lot cleaner for me and my teammates. I think us losing the start last time really kind of like hindered us. Um, so this one was definitely a lot better. And yeah, you can just see like I'm gonna spin on him. I think he's in my stream watching and just took my Brock because I wanted it. So yeah, it was personal that game to be honest. All right, guys. Back on Dueling Beetles for this one. Um, so yeah, we do have last pick. Oh, just did the rundown. You know what's in my mind. Um, we're gonna ban Cord. Good pit or good ban. Um, I think I'm looking for Shelly or yeah, Ducky got Shelly. Uh, I'm looking for Squeak. I think Squeak's just super super oppressive. Just throw the gadget. You can't play mid for like. 10 seconds or whatever and it's like three guys just like 30 seconds you can lose a hot uh, like a hot zone game in like 15 seconds i think if you just lose like all control so i think it's a really good ban uh it just you don't have to worry about it as much now that does leave like something like the crow open um I, I think it's okay though um you know crow is a very good pick here but they're gonna go lou pretty weird uh, Lou's definitely good on this map. I just don't think it's first picked like ever really unless like Crow just kind of seems like so much safer and like more thought out for me uh, They're gonna ban like squeak stew cord, you know, those are all fine as well And we're gonna go Bell. So the miracle guy. I, I don't think he has a lot of brawlers max out um, but Yeah, he's gonna go Bell and I think I tell Ducky to go Crow Because we need like an anti-tank Bell. It's not an anti-tank like you cannot tell me it's anti-tank like try playing like bell with your only like anti-tank into sam like you're not gonna have a good time um obviously if you hit the mark on people it's good but i think it's more like just like a long range brawler to like hit shots with uh get control it's definitely not an anti-tank but it's it's like decent into tanks don't get me wrong but if bell's your only like anti-tank like good luck you have to hit like 10 shots kill someone uh they're gonna go sprout early here i think they're only able to do that because they have such a hard tank counter like blue now if we were to go a tank obviously the blue's gonna get infinite supers um but they also have like probably the best thrower on the map and they're gonna go gust just to win lane so i think that comp actually like it kind of worked out decently like the is probably gonna have a tough game no matter what i go unless i go a tank but uh lou if you're good at it you can always kind of find some value I'm showing you guys how to play Brock here. Like that last Brock gameplay was not it. So I'm going to teach you guys how to play Brock properly on Dueling Beetles. So yeah, <laughs> last pick Brock Merchant on Dueling Beetles. That's me. So I went Brock. I feel like it's kind of obvious, but you know, I don't think it ever hurts to explain stuff to you guys. Uh, they have Sprout. I'm going to break this wall. We can't get spawn trapped as easily. We can't run it down. Like I said, they have Lou for the tanks. Um, and yeah, I can break their grass really easily. I think Brock kind of beats like every lane on this map if played properly. Uh, of course, you have to stay like max distance. You can't get ran down on Brock. So I'm never really picking Brock in a slime like a Shelly. Like, I think Bonnie can even run you down. Um, but like, <clears throat> Brock can also beat Bonnie. It's super easy when it's not using its gadget. You just gotta be careful about the gadget. And, um,. Yeah, their brawler is uh, like, you know, Piper. It's kind of unconventional though. Not really a lot of people going Piper here. Um, but yeah, you can just see I'm like kind of like affecting the whole map because of my range. And I am able to take out the Sprout Wall for the most part there. We'll clean up the kill with Ducky there as well. I'm gonna see if I can get the Lou. Uh, you know, not really the best uh, gadget there. I thought I could maybe hit him through the wall with my gadget. So I don't really mind going for stuff like that and I see I can get him there So he's gonna have to back out there and just die to my bell So it was a good pinch for me, but yeah, I kind of messed up with the gadget. I think but we're off to a really nice lead here um, So yeah, we're gonna be up by like 40% uh, The loot is gonna get super. It's huge that he's not able to chain it So I'm gonna pick up a kill on the sprout there just getting them through the wall That's something that Brock's hitbox is uh, bigger than the hitbox 
or sorry, like the width of a wall. So you can shoot through walls if people are just standing right against it. I'm gonna break their side a bit. I think it's worth it just to confirm. You can see I'm shooting through the walls there. Again, Sprout, I'm just like looking for him. He's standing right against that wall to get the max range on his overgrowth shots. And I'm looking to capitalize every time he does do that. So he's slowed, I can just auto aim him. No need to aim, like risk missing. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna get the Lou with my super as well. So good pinch for me and Bell. And just gonna pinch out the Sprout. I'm gonna go down, like, you know, that's fine. I don't really mind that there. We're up by so much. As long as we don't get spawn trapped, the Lou has not been able to change his supers, which makes this game super easy to play. Same with the Sprout. He was never really able to get, like, an aggro position in the walls. Our mid did good. Our uh, Bell was doing pretty good for the most part, too. And, uh, yeah, I think I've been playing pretty decent so far as well. I'm gonna mess up my Brock super out. As, I think I'm very good at Brock, but my supers are not it. I don't know. I gotta work out a lot of my Brock supers. But yeah, we're gonna take the first game pretty convincingly. Alright guys, so game number two. Looking to just kind of like, you know, copy paste. Same thing as last game. Uh, my Sprout did really good. So the Lou is gonna go mid too. I think that's a good adaptation. You can kind of see like... He was just losing lane to the bell. It is a pretty hard Lou matchup, honestly. And, uh, you know, Ducky's gonna have to dodge a little more. I can't really push up super hard because they have the unbreakable wall. If they didn't, I would just break that wall and, like, you know, we'd kill them all. But, uh, yeah, they do have it, so it does make it a little harder as well. You can see I get a nice, like, gadget there through the side of the wall. I see he's going for the trap, so I'm going to get my super off there as well. And I just kind of hold it down for my team. They both played really good up until that point. They did die, but that's fine. Like, they kind of died at, like, an alright time because I was able to get two kills there. And, uh, luckily he did hit the bell trap. But, yeah, Sprout in that position is definitely a bit of an issue here. So I am kind of worried. Ducky's going to get a good slow off and it would have been really nice if I got my super from that one shot. Um, and you know, I'm just kind of so close to, I'm in that awkward spot where it's just like so close to get my super. Lou is going to get a super and gadget me, but he got zero hits off. So that's really fine for me. Uh, Ducky is really close to being frozen though. So he's got to be careful. We don't want to chain Lou supers. And uh, yeah, I probably could have like tried being a little more aggro there. But like I said, there's no point in feeding the Lou. They get Lou supers, that's how they win the game, I think, or a Sprout setup. They have a very spawn trappy comp with uh, the two of those brawlers together. So yeah, I am gonna use the Brock Radius there to just kind of hit the Sprout, pinch him out, and Lou is gonna go down as well. We're gonna pinch the Gus out now. Bell Trap will take him out. So uh, yeah, good pinches from everyone on my team right now, and you know, that's a pretty good wall i don't know if he meant to do that but it worked out pretty well for them and i'm just gonna super there to break that wall he is gonna gadget it in time though not the best brock super like i said brock super is not for me uh i am looking to splash him off that wall i i know i can't shoot through the wall obviously but here you know i gotta get a set of the spot trap so i'm gonna go aggro i don't think if i go back like it's really gonna help too much so i'm gonna try getting him we are gonna get a nice pinch there and you know, it was a really nice try, I think, trying to get the Sprout out, and we did do it successfully. Unfortunately, I think the Crow jump there was just mistimed. I don't think he was expecting us to get the kill on the Brock. So I can see what he was going for, but uh, yeah, I think it kind of costed us a little bit, and he's also not able to take out the Sprout there. I think if he was, this game would be winnable, but... Um, you know, we're kind of in a bad spot now, and me and the Bell, we're doing a decent job, but yeah, it's just crow versus sprout right now so if i was able to stay alive there we can definitely win the game and he does manage to get it but 99 to 100 so you know a few little micro things at the end there uh and we definitely win the game i think if they don't happen so you know i'm feeling good looking into the third game here i know it's like very winnable All right, game number three. I am going to switch lanes because nobody really laned me at the start. Uh, same thing as when I was on the Piper. I can just kind of bully my lanes. Ducky's going to go down right at the start. It's not what we want to see from little Ducky. But I'm going to get a gadget there so they can't really push up too much. And I'm focusing more on dodging than hitting shots right here. The Lou, uh, he kind of gets intimidated and just like, you know, backs off. Bro is not hitting me at all. Um, and I'm just going to try shooting through the walls like I have been. So Ducky keeps dying, but it's not really that, that's not like a horrible death because I don't know, they're not really in a position to get a lot of percent. So he's trying to be aggro to just kind of, 
you know, get zone time, whatever, like buy us some space. So I think it's okay there. It's not a horrible death. And yeah, now it is like a little bit of an issue because they are kind of set up. So here I'm getting kind of slimy again. Like I know, same thing as when the pro was shooting or the sprout was shooting me last game. I know I got to be aggro and you can see I just stay alive like 100 HP. So I don't know how I stayed alive there. <laughs> Probably should have died, but uh, I can get slimy when I want to. Sometimes you got to like focus less on aiming and more on moving and like just paying attention. And uh, yeah, just get your ammo back up till you're in a better spot. So I'm going to get some really good kills here, some really good shots in. We're going to get another Brock super as well. I'm going to pick up a kill on the Gus here. Pick up a kill on the Lou. <laughs> I did not want to lose this game, guys. I was on like a 10 game winning streak at this point or something like that. I was like locked in. As you guys can tell, I was like <laughs> listening to my Eminem in my stream, like just vibing. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I am going to just keep the Gus kind of max range. Try not dying there. I gotta make sure I don't get taken out by a big shot or something like that. Um, and Gus is gonna use the shield on himself. He's gonna get solo slowed by the crow. I can definitely look for something on the Gus there, but I am walking towards him, so he does have more range than me technically there. Just because I'm walking into his shots, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, so I, I'm fine, like, just like we kind of like drag at some position. He has to back off. I think that's the right play instead of like just feeding, potentially getting hit by a big shot, taking low, and then I have to back off. So, yeah, it's nice to get kills, but the most important thing in a lot of these modes is just like positioning. Like, I can't talk about it enough. And you can see, pretty, pretty good Brock game. Had to show you guys how to play Brock on Dueling Beetles properly. Not like the last game, bro. Don't take my Brock again. But yeah, 110k damage. <laughs> and yeah all right guys so that is gonna be it for today's video uh i'm gonna go live on twitch now and see if i can push up the leaderboards a bit i don't know how it'll go um but yeah we're gonna see how high we can get might tilt might do good there's only one way to find out hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay though and um yeah make sure you guys like and subscribe and i'll see you all soon peace